Now let's suppose there is a father who's the earning source in the family and he gives some pocket money or some uh, some money to the mother and then mother out of this hundred dollars gives some money to the child. So in this case mother is acting as a mediator because she is taking money or she is being given money by the father and then the same path continues and she gives money to the child. So in this case she is acting as a mediator. Now let's look at another example. Now father is directly trying to give money to the child. Now there's only a relationship between father and a child. But when the mother is present, the father gives the child 50 rupees or 100 rupees. But when mother is not present, father and child has a different relationship in terms of pocket money. So here, just because of the mother's presence or absence, the relationship between father and a child changes. So here she's acting as a moderator. Here in the above, above example, she's acting as a mediator because she's being affected by the father and then in return she's affecting the child. But in the lower example, the presence or absence of mother changes the relationship between father and a child. So this can be another simple example of understanding mediation and moderation. Now let's go to uh, the other example. And in this example, we're also going to learn a few more concepts, which is indirect effect, the direct effect and the total effect. So when we will be analyzing mediation in our uh, Andrew Hayes uh, process macro, these things will be very important. These concepts are going to be very important to understand and interpret the mediation analysis. Now, for example, father gives some pocket money to mother and out of which mother gives 50 rupees to the child. Now here, mother is acting as a mediator. Yes. And at the same time, father is also giving some money to the child. Say, father is giving $15 directly to the child without the involvement of mother. So, 15. $15 are given to the child directly. Directly by the father to the child. But these $50 are also coming from father's pocket. But these fifty dollars or rupees are being mediated by the mother. So father is giving it to mother, and then mother, out of his pocket, uh, her pocket money, is giving to the child. So in this case, please try and understand the difference between the indirect and the direct effect. So the father giving money to the child directly can be known as the direct effect or we can say that independent variable has some impact directly on the dependent variable that is known as the direct effect. But there are also path that is being established through some other variable. This path can be known as mediation path or indirect effect. Now, where is the money coming from? From the father's pocket. But these $50 are going to the child indirectly. Not directly, indirectly. So this effect or this path of this uh, model is known as the indirect effect. And this path, which is a direct path, is known as the direct effect. Now, as you can see, we have this explanation here 
indirect effect is dollar fifty. Why? Because it is going indirectly to the child. How much total pocket money the child is going to have? Obviously, sixty-five dollars. Why? Because fifty rupees are being given by the mother to the child, and fifteen rupees are being given to the child directly by the father. So, what is the total effect? Total effect is equal to the indirect and direct effect. which means 50 plus 15 is equal to 65 so these concepts are going to be very important when we will be uh, analyzing our mediation model in andre hayes process so i hope you have understood the difference between the indirect effect the direct effect and the total effect